China could face more semiconductor export curbs from the likes of the US and the Netherlands to contain the Asian powerhouse's chip tech, analysts told CNBC. Earlier this year, the Netherlands blocked Dutch semiconductor equipment maker ASML from exporting some of its deep ultraviolet lithography systems to China. ASML sells lithography machines that are key to manufacturing advanced chips. It came after the U.S. tightened export controls on advanced semiconductors and chipmaking tools to China in October last year, building on previous rules. Washington is concerned that Beijing could use these advanced chips in artificial intelligence and military applications. I wouldn't be surprised if there's more, U.S. restrictions. Coming just because we're still in the middle of this tit-for-tat. And there's a lot of hawks in the U.S. that are really concerned about China's military buildup, said Dan Hutchison, vice chair and senior research fellow at Tech Insights, on CNBC's Squawk Box Asia, Tuesday. Beijing slammed the Dutch government's move, urging the Netherlands to uphold an objective and fair position and market principles. China's Ministry of Commerce said last week that the U.S. is weaponizing export controls as a tool, adding that it is highly concerned about the U.S.'s direct intervention in the issue of high-tech exports by Dutch companies to China. It's further evidence that not just the U.S. government, but also other Western countries like the Dutch government, are going to keep ratcheting up some of the restrictions that we've seen around both chipmaking equipment and also advanced semiconductors, Chris Miller, author of Chip War, told CNBC's Squawk Box Asia in early January. In October, the U.S. banned the sales of the A800 and H800 chips that NVIDIA specifically manufactured for the Chinese market. NVIDIA's less powerful A800 and H800 chips were developed after the U.S. government banned shipments of the A100 and H100 chips, which are advanced graphics processing units sold to businesses, to China in August 2022. This led NVIDIA to launch even less powerful chips in China in December to comply with U.S. export restrictions. The U.S. government has signaled that they're planning to roll out new export controls that do close loopholes on a regular basis, said Miller. China's imports of integrated circuits in 2023 plunged amid U.S. curbs, falling 15.4% year-on-year to $349.4 billion in 2023, according to customs data released on Friday, January 12. Shipment volume also declined by 10.8%, the data showed. With U.S. elections impending and political tension continuing to exist in the Taiwan Strait, it's hard to envision a meaningful pullback on restrictions. If anything, I see further tightening, Daniel Newman, principal analyst at Futurum Research, told CNBC last week. China opposes Taiwan independence and has urged the U.S. to stop arming Taiwan, according to a readout on January.